Hey, Jonathan. Hi, Christian. How are you? <laughs> Great. How are you? Ciao. Not too bad. <laughs> Perfect. So thank you, first of all, for accepting this uh, video review of our program. Um, and uh, you can start introducing yourself so that uh, everyone can understand who you are and uh, why you participated to the program. Absolutely. My name is Jonathan Duro. I'm a Nigerian Canadian living in Halifax, Nova Scotia currently. I come from a, a law school background. I went to a local law school here in, in Halifax. Um, I did a year 2020 to 2021 during the COVID uh, year where everything was all on Zoom. It was very, I found it very difficult. So I decided to take a leave of absence. During that time, I really, well, during my time in law school, I really acquainted myself with the uh, Law and Technology Society, one of the many societies and, and clubs and whatnot that we have uh, in, in law schools. Um, so I really love learning about intellectual property law and the different cloud technologies and AI and all of this and how the law wants to uh, regulate this in the future. So beyond just the legal aspect of things, I want to learn the hands-on technical skills to see a, a career path and an interest path for myself there. So uh, I think I saw a Carol Tool on a tech blog somewhere, I believe. I'm not sure which one. I didn't remember seeing Christian. I remember going on Trustpilot and seeing a lot of positive reviews from seasoned professionals. And, and I thought to myself, if seasonal professionals can see uh, the usefulness and the practicality of this course, I thought a beginner such as myself in tech, apart from a little coding background, I'm pretty much a beginner. I could definitely benefit a lot. So I did my research on Christian on RPIT, and I found lots of positive reviews. So I decided to give it a go for sure. I'm, I'm taking the AWS and Linux combo. Uh, Christian was gracious enough to give it to me uh, at a discounted rate. We had some issue setting a payment with PayPal. That was a, mm -hmm. oh, a conundrum there, but we got through it. So yeah, thank God that's over with. And yeah, uh, in terms of, I'm, I do some marketing and sales. I do some brand ambassadorship for uh, local companies here and a company based out of New York called OPZ. So I do uh, like uh, promotion for Uber Eats, HelloFresh, et cetera, et cetera. And I also do some uh, delivery driving just to supplement my income. I'm very passionate about AI. I've attended a lot of uh, masterminds and webinars about AI, and I'm looking to delve into a little bit of AI engineering as well. Uh, I wanted to, to take um, some more cybersecurity. Christian isn't offering that at the moment. So I'm taking a course on uh, some courses on EC Council. Um, a group that are based out of the United Kingdom. They have some very uh, all around cybersecurity, but AWS and Azure specific uh, and Kali Linux specific uh, cybersecurity courses. So I'm taking that as well. And in the future, I think I will take uh, uh, an associate level cybersecurity for sure. Yeah. Yeah, very good. I'm I'm really happy that you are saying this because uh, I can announce also during this uh, interview that uh, we are really working in this direction. Uh, the reason why we are not offering cybersecurity yet is because we believe that before jumping into cybersecurity, you need to have solid foundations. So yeah. we built these foundations first. Now we are jumping into cybersecurity and you'll see that we are going to jump into advanced stuff very soon. So you'll, you'll be, you'll be surprised about what, uh, what you'll hear from us. So, but. Uh, let's talk about your experience. How was your overall experience with the program? Overall experience, uh, I have yet to complete the AWS uh, <clears throat> segment. Uh, I finished the eight weeks of Linux. I think I will take it again. I will take it again just to um, to refresh myself before I delve in. I am very excited. I bought a, um, a book from uh, Wiley Publishing called The Linux Bible by Christopher Negus. So I, I'm taking in a, a whole host of, uh, of information, for, whether from Carol Tool and other courses as well. Uh, it's always useful to have limited instruction, to have one-on-one uh, -on -one instruction. There's not a lot of people in the class. It's uh, I find it very beneficial to have that one-on-one -on -one rapport with the teacher. Uh, Arpa's teaching style is very good. He gives a lot of um, background to how these technologies developed, the usefulness of them. Uh, he gave me a little, he, he spoke about uh, Linus Torvalds and his background and why Linux was useful. And so I really like that. He's very candid and open. Uh, he answers a lot of questions. I, I know it can be frustrating to deal with the beginner sometimes because there's so many questions, you know, but Arpit is always graceful. He always stops it. And we delve into even questions that might not even be related to to Linux itself. Maybe I have a question about um, 
about uh, coding or about uh, new softwares. We have, we've had great conversations on different things. Arthur is very uh, gracious with his time. Um, it's incredible that he can have a full-time Cisco career and still teach Linux and Junos and Juniper and all these different programs. It's very impressive. Um, yeah, Linux, Linux is it, it's very fascinating. I see the usefulness immediately, how it can be used for video games, for cybersecurity, for movie production, web development. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, I haven't really delved too much into the projects yet because um, I, I've only completed the eight weeks, right? So I'm going to take a rehash of it again. And I will go into the 52 weeks on my own, uh, at my own pace. Yeah. I can't wait so, to become a Red Hat. I want to go to the, some of the conferences one day as well. So this is very important. I always recommend to everyone, uh, because here you have the possibility to rejoin uh, the live classes uh, as a refresher as many times as you want. I always encourage everyone to do that uh, at any stage uh, of your career. I always recommend rejoin, take a refresher, ask new questions. Technologies keep changing. But now I'm going to ask you a question that generally no one asks no ask during this kind of uh, conversations because I'm really interested to this question, uh, also to improve our products. Um, what, will you, what would you do to improve uh, <laughs> the programs that you attended? Absolutely, okay. Um, it's very, I would rate this program very highly. Obviously, nothing is perfect in the world. A couple of suggestions. I would have liked the aid. I would have liked the security to be taught in tandem. I think it's it's important just to have both of them at the same time. It's because sometimes you, when you want to dive into a career, it's hard to to go into a career then come back and learn stuff again while you're trying to advance in your career. That's okay. I understand that um, everything's a work in progress. There's uh, different things ongoing. Um, secondly, um, Arpit suggests that we. You know, just follow follow him on screen, and then at our own time, go back in and and uh, I guess try different commands, try different projects. I wish I wish he could. It's difficult. I wish he could um, allow us to set up our own uh, emulator, our own terminal, and do the commands as he's doing them as well. I think we would gain a lot of hands-on experience right then and there. Sometimes you have questions right then and there that you may forget. Maybe we should be writing them down, but it would be helpful if we could just maybe even have 10 minutes, set up a, a terminal, and if he's introducing a new command, try typing it in, try different shortcuts, et cetera, et cetera. That'd be useful as well. Um, as well, I think there should be questions after every session. He did give a, um, a Linux um, practical, some some practice questions. In, um, yeah, he gave some practice questions on, on basic commands and whatnot. I feel there should be a questionnaire after every class, we should be able to answer five or six questions about what we've learned that he should, if not, don't grade it, but necessarily but go through it with us afterwards to make sure that our understanding is, is uh, up to par and updated as after every session. Um, as well, I think, um, I think we would all benefit, we would benefit from the AWS Educate and AWS Academy. I think I've, we've spoke about this, Christian. I think it would be beneficial if uh, we signed up as an institution, if possible, and get us to use the resources that AWS has as well. So they're all free. So yeah, and we could we would benefit a lot as students from that as well. And I think um, just more info about what's going on at Red Hat. We should look into their newsletter, look into their their conferences. How can we get somebody sponsored to go to a conference so we could all benefit from that for that knowledge and insight? There's a lot of developments. Oh my goodness, I, I watch some of their YouTube videos. Uh, there's a lot of developments, a lot of conferences. And also, what internships can we have? How can we connect with people in North America or Europe so we're not too far away and where we can just learn hands-on experience, even if it's unpaid, just learn, sit down and learn from, from different people in the industry so we can gain experience that matters, that counts on the CV ultimately. Otherwise, very good class. Very good, very good. So you answer all my questions, so thank you very much. And... Uh... I will um, tell you more about the security part that is coming soon. Will be a broad scope, so we are going to start really a big, big project with this. Yeah. And uh, um, obviously, to everybody, I'm going to publish this without too much cut because it's very clean, uh, like we did. And uh, if anyone is interested in a Jonathan profile, you can ask me, uh, and uh, I can provide you his details, and then you can talk directly to him. So thank you, Jonathan. Thank you so much, Christian. Bye. All the best. Thank you.